CRAS, or Counter RAS Technologies, are a range of areas that Army is looking to explore with our exploration of robotics and autonomous systems. As we understand and learn about how to use RAS on the battlefield, so too are our potential adversaries. It's important for us to learn what these effects could be and how we can mitigate them. These include a range of kinetic and non-kinetic effects focused on stopping a potential adversary impacting us, as well as making our own force or protecting the force that we have today. I think over the last 12 months, we've seen this rapid evolution of UAVs and how they're used in warfare. Most of these systems are driven one-to-one -one by the person, but I think as we go forward, we're gonna see a lot of these systems build autonomous capability. We'll have seen in the media the proliferation of uncrewed aerial systems, but you're starting to see them now on the land and on the water as you see the war in Europe. It was pretty clear to us that we needed to respond to what that looks like, understand what we can do from a sovereign perspective as well as internationally, and really see where we respond to what is quite clearly an emerging threat. That's why this year's challenge for Army Innovation Day is counter robotic and autonomous systems. Army sponsors the Army Innovation Day challenge every year. And at the end of that challenge, we seek a prototype where we could take that prototype to a field trial and then test that in an operationally representative environment. Today we had 15 vendors all pitch their ideas and over the next few weeks the evaluation team will go ahead and conduct a competitive evaluation against all of those applications and all of those business cases and all of those pitches. In a couple of weeks time we will simply down select the best of those finalists and then we'll go into contract. All in preparation of a counter as capability. At AID today, you'll see an awful lot of different types of technologies. Each technology has different capabilities. They've also got different situations or contexts in which they are optimally deployed. Forums such as Army Innovation Day are really important to developing sovereign solutions because it is a real melting pot of industry. Both those that are well established in the defence sector and also those from adjacent industries or potentially completely left of field industries that can come in, integrate with each other in terms of sharing ideas, sharing contacts, sharing information and seeing where the broad spectrum of technology that's in this room can intersect and deliver key capability for the Australian Army. We see lots of different reasons why counter raise is very important to Army and Australia, particularly due to the current conflict and the lessons being learned there. I think from a counter raise perspective, it's about the next conflict as well. How can we think about developing systems for Australia to counter systems that we might not know about yet? So we're very excited by that challenge. What we're starting to see now within industry is that robotic technology is evolving rapidly. Threatening robotic technology is going to become a lot more commonplace in future warfare. And with that comes a real necessity to have effective counter-robotic threat systems that are able to disable or destroy a lot of the things that otherwise cause us harm. There's always a balance between what has always been true in warfare and what will always be true and what's new and different. Many of the fundamentals don't change, so it's how we work those two together in balance as an integrated force. Australia's defence can't get by without sovereign industry support. When I was in defence, I didn't quite realise exactly how fundamental industry support was to the ultimate capabilities that the defence force requires. Innovation plays a great seed role in being able to maintain that capability. The Chief of Army Symposium, it's different from other types of exhibitions that we tend to go to. This is all about capability, it's all about what we can do, how we can do better for Army, Navy and Air Force.